Hey guys, Larry from Oregon Coast, and uh, it's April 13th, and uh, it's time to get some stuff grown, so let's go on to my next little uh, project here. This year, I wanted to do another experiment. Um, I'm going to do compost tea, hydrophonics, uh, deep water culture, the airstone, and a crack cracky method there with no airstone. And I have there on top six stilettes, uh, tomatoes that started from seed on around February 12th and they're early uh, an early t uh, tomato and a uh, determined type I've never grown these before so a little interest to see how they do here this year I'm trying out from uh, a maxi grow from General Hy Hydroponics it's a 10 5 14 last year I used a, a grow big from Fox Farms and uh, I was really happy with it but the only thing um, is really pricey, um, about twenty bu or about twenty twenty two dollars for a, a quart size of, of the stuff. And this maxi grows eighteen, eighteen bucks for that bag, and it, um, it's going to last me quite a while. Um, the directions say uh, one teaspoon per gallon, and uh, so it's pretty easy to mix, and uh, so I'm pretty excited to see how how well this stuff works. And there's my son Owen holding up one of the victims, or future victims. <laughs> um, it's hard to see in this picture, but they're getting root bound and, uh, and they're ready to go in. So here we go. And with the uh, tomato plants, I just uh, I soaked them in a soaked them in a bucket of water for about five minutes. Um, didn't get everything off them, but I wasn't really too uh, too concerned. Got most of the stuff off there. Anyways, I, I saw these buckets and those uh, those bucket lids there. That's a six-inch uh, net pot. Um, at the uh, anyways, I saw those at the, my local uh, hydroponics store. So I saw, I was like, hey, that looks pretty cool. So I picked up uh, about five of them, and and for the lid and the bucket itself, it was right around thirteen dollars. So I thought that was pretty reasonable. And plus, uh, they look uh, they look pretty cool. I thought. All right, it's time to brew up some compost tea. This time around, um, I wasn't able to get to my worm bin. I got a bunch of stuff uh, stacked on it, believe it or not. But um, so uh, I'm, for this first uh, cycle, I'm just going to use a compost steer maneuver. Um, I use a sock here for a strainer, and it seemed to work pretty good. And uh, I just uh, <coughs> I soaked the sock in here for about 10-15 minutes. Then I removed the sock. I also added about half a gallon of water from my uh, aquarium. So um, I think that's important. I think that's really going to help uh, get this compost tea hydroponic thing going. I, uh, um, I did it last year, and uh, just my feeling, I have no scientific proof, but I think the the fish water, or aquarium water, whatever you want to call it, is uh, a big reason why uh, it worked for me last year. Check out this bad boy. Uh, a few days ago, there was a uh, storage unit sale where um, basically uh, some storage units got foreclosed on. You know, you know like that TV show, uh, Storage Wars. And uh, this guy had one of the units was completely full of hydro hydroponic stuff, but um, I really didn't uh, have a space for the. I mean, they had, they had lights, the whole nine yards. Um, but I got this uh, air compressor. It's a 112 watt air compressor for 30 bucks. Came with a manifold there, um, air lines, air stones. And uh, it's a steel. This thing is a monster. It just puts out unbelievable amount of bubbles. Uh, after using this thing, I'll never go back to those little aquarium pumps. I mean, they do get you by, but you get this thing going, and it's uh, really impressive. And there's my compost tea, just a brewing like crazy. Look at that stuff. Um, I'm really excited about it. I'm uh, real curious to see how this is going to compare with the um, with the cracky and with my. Uh, deep water culture bucket there. Here's a view of my setup here. There on the bottom is um, the cracky. Um, there's hydroponic nutrient there, water, and no air stone. Middle is the deep water culture. Um, same thing. Uh, I'm using the maxi grow, um, but that one has an air stone in it. So basically a bubble bucket, deep water culture, whatever you call it. And the far, on the one all, all the way up there to the top there, that's the compost tea um, hydroponic. But uh, 
I'm really excited about this new setup. Uh, can't wait to see how it turns out. And uh, I'm going to clear out some more room there in the back. And uh, I want to add probably three more buckets. Uh, I think I got like four four lines in, uh, on that manifold. And, you know, I'm going to use them up. Well, I'm going to try to do an update about once a month. Um, see how this thing's going. Hopefully we, uh, we get a little bit better, better weather here this year. But uh, can't wait to see what you guys are growing. Uh, can't wait to check out your uh, new videos for the spring. And if uh, if you want to learn how to make a cool channel art like this or channel banner, whatever you want to call it, click on that uh, that link right there, and Dale will take you uh, step by step. And he'll show you how to get you a cool um, channel banner for your uh, YouTube channel. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, talk to you soon.